Good day everyone and welcome to a review video of the Aki EPC2 in-ear headphone with microphone. So guys, you may remember me unboxing this a while back. If you haven't seen the video yet, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, so to get this started off, I would like to comment on the audio quality. As you may remember, I said that the frequency range of this uh, particular headphone is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is right in the middle of the sweet spot of uh, audio. So, um, so with this headphone, you're not going to get any of that uh, really high treble or the really low basses. Um, but definitely, it fits right in the middle, and the audio quality matches what you'd expect. The audio is definitely free of distortions, so I haven't heard any uh, crackling or anything like that at moderate volumes. And even at high volumes, I, I could barely hear any uh, problems. So overall, it's a very nicely uh, built pair in terms of audio quality. Uh, something I should probably mention uh, that I didn't really like about this, uh, the audio quality wise, is the audio sounds a little bit flattened. So this may be because it's in that middle range of frequencies and it doesn't have those deep basses. Um, so uh, if you're looking for something with a lot more bass, I don't think this is the, one, uh, this is the headphone for you. But if you're looking for uh, something with really good vocals, uh, this is really good at doing that. So uh, in terms of build quality, I really, really like it. It's built really nicely. There's no defects or anything like that. And it looks really good. Uh, I really enjoy the design and the color choices that they made with the black and red. It really accents well. And the fact that uh, all, all of it has a metal metallic finish and the feeling of metal, I think it, it really gives it that premium look, uh, which Aki has done a great job of. Um, I really enjoyed the button on the remote. Uh, it's I, it has that distinctive click that you you can uh, feel when you're pressing down on it, and I think it would even work uh, when you're wearing uh, gloves. So uh, that's actually a plus. Uh, this device has a inline mic uh, along with that button. Uh, the inline mic is nothing special. It uh, works as described, and uh, the audio quality is okay, but uh, it's nothing special. It's what you'd expect from any other. Um, microphone on a headphone something else that i noticed was uh, although it said it has a very uh, snug indie design that uh, it's supposed to reduce surrounding noise uh, i found that it wasn't the best at uh, reducing that noise so it's don't really use this if you're uh, looking to you know cut out any other outside noise uh, but it does do a little bit of that so um it's definitely not as good as noise cancelling or anything like that, but uh, it, if you have it snug around your ear, it should block some of the noise outside. Audio also doesn't bleed out of the headphones, so uh, at moderate volumes, people around you should not hear what you're listening to. Uh, but uh, uh, if you do use higher volumes, it'll, it'll, it will go through the air hole in the back of the headphones. So overall, I would say this is a great buy if you're looking for a mid-range in-ear headphone. Uh, where you're going to get a really nice build quality and great looking uh, design for a good price. Uh, but it's definitely not something for those audio files out there who are looking for those uh, deep basses and those really high uh, trebles. So guys, as usual, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos. Uh, please leave a comment below if, uh, if you have any recommendations about future videos. Also, if you have anything to say about this particular uh, device. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, please share this with your friends. Until next time guys, peace.